biggest schools in North Carolina walk on stage into the final spotlight. The winding road to the state basketball title terminates tonight in Chapel Hill, where the Dean Dome will bear witness to the 4A state championship presented by West Shore Home. The top seed out of the West, unbeaten Weddington, and the Panther Creek Catamounts. Good evening once again, everybody. Patrick Kiedis alongside Jay Stonehalter. The longest winning streak in the state belongs to Weddington, 48 in a row. Meanwhile, the Catamounts have never played for state final. That's the matchup. This is a heavyweight title fight. I'm so excited to see this matchup with the tradition and the winning streak of Weddington going against Panther Creek, who's been outstanding this season, led by Shawan Robinson. All right, Weddington, the defending 3A state champs up in class. They play for the 4A state title tonight against Panther Creek. Let's now pause here in Inside the Dean Dome for our national anthem ahead of the 4A title game. restitution for today's championships. The colors are presented today by members of the Western Alamance High School Naval Junior ROTC under the direction of Master Chief Rod Butler. And now to honor America and those who protect our freedom, please rise and gently remove your hands for the singing of our national anthem by Marsha Bailey of Rock. As you might expect, as you might expect, a big, raucous crowd in Chapel Hill. And Jay, let's get to our Hardy's stars to watch for tonight's game. Try the new bacon beast menu with Hardy's. Crispy bacon and a burger, biscuit, and a breakfast burrito. James Daly's really stepped up in the playoffs. The Eastern Final, 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 blocks on the defensive end. He controls the paint area, and his height advantage is going to be the X factor for Panther Creek tonight. Over for Weddington. Chase Wood received an offer from Cornell on Wednesday night. 18 points, 9 boards. Gary Ellington talks about his character. What a great kid he is. He controls the pace for his team. He's also an outstanding three-point shooter. All right, Jay, now how about the Ingles food for a thought? Low prices, love the savings. What are the keys? Closing out on the three-point shooters for Weddington will be huge and forcing them to shoot over the length of the Catamounts and shot selections, making sure they make good decisions shooting the ball. Over for Weddington, controlling the pace, slowing things down and playing and executing in a half-court offense and then winning on the boards. They're giving up height to Panther Creek, but they do a good job being physical and boxing out. But they need to especially attack the offensive class. All right, Panther Creek playing for his first ever state title from nearby Cary. Weddington going for back-to-back -back in two different classes. Tip-off between the Warriors and the Catamounts coming up next. With four strips of crispy bacon and rich melty cheese and two juicy charbroil patties, of course no meeting can compete with this meat. Give in to the new Double Bacon Beast Burger at Hardee's and feed your happy. At Ortho Carolina, personalized orthopedic care goes beyond my appointment. 
From the convenience of online scheduling to a friendly voice on the phone, I can schedule my visit on my time. And with after hours urgent care and video visits, my pain doesn't have to be my problem anymore. Ortho Carolina, my care, my way. Schedule your appointment today at orthocarolina.com. Parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. During the Rooms to Go patio anniversary sale, you've got it made in the shade. The free umbrella offer is back. Shop outdoor dining sets and get a free umbrella. Shop outdoor seating and the umbrella is free. From the pool to the patio, bring home great styles at great prices and a free umbrella. With a giant inventory of patio furniture in stock, we can deliver fast. So don't wait. Shop this incredible selection today and get a free umbrella during the Rooms to Go patio anniversary sale. With crispy bacon and fluffy eggs and melty cheese. Whoa. Beast Mode doesn't have to stop for breakfast. Give in to the new Bacon Beast breakfast menu at Hardee's and feed your happy. All right, a look at the Dean Dome in Chapel Hill. Thank you for tuning in for our last game, the Big School 4A State Basketball Championship. Wedding to the top seed out of the West, unbeaten, and the 15 seed out of the East, Panther Creek. And for the Weddington Warriors, there is Gary Ellington in his 14th season for the Warriors. Led them to an unbeaten state title at the 3A level last year, Jay. 30-0 this year at 4A. I tell you what, too, you maybe lost some, some, life, some years off your life watching them go through the playoffs. More on that coming up. But they are fortunate and deserve to be here in the state title game yet again. Yeah, his team always seems to find a way. They've been a power over on the western part of the state and he's known most of the guys on his team since they're in elementary school fourth and fifth grade coming to his camp and he's got a special connection with his group all right so there is shawan robinson in his eighth year as head coach for panther creek over his last four years they're 82 and 22 and this is a guy with his dad on his staff daryl who excelled at in, uh, in Little John for the Clemson Tigers, a four-time All-ACC academic player, one of the top free-throw shooters in the country down his career, played professionally as well. This means a lot for the first time to bring Panther Creek to this stage. Yeah, and for those two to be on the same staff, and Daryl Robinson coached Shawan in high school at Leesville Road, and he was top 100 player outstanding in high school and he played at the Dean Dome in 2001 in the state championship for Leesville now coming back in 2022 leading his team yeah, this has been a special year and an opportunity to cap it off with the state championship well what great opportunities for each of these squads as we get to our starters for this contest and they're brought to you by West Shore home, Chase Lowe. We will talk about him a lot. He was the MVP of the 3A state title game last year. The offer from Cornell, SAT score of 1350. He is the uh, prototypical neighborhood greatest kid, right? Yeah, and he does everything. And over for Panther Creek, I mean, this is a balanced lineup. Yeah. Tyler Thompson, top Division One football recruit. Amari Odom, the same as star on the football field. Jordan Snell. And daily college interest for Sean Robinson. Same thing. I mean, all five guys and their bench has found contributions, and they've been playing at such a high level. Starting lineup is brought to you by West Shore Home, America's most admired home remodeling brand. Our officials tonight: Eric Benson, Jeff Feller, Quinton Hill, Panther Creek in the traveling black uniforms. Weddings in the home with the green numbers. We are ready for the 4A men's basketball championship, and the tip controlled by the unbeaten Warriors. We have not lost a game since before the pandemic, March 3rd of 2020. They won 48 consecutive games. It's the longest winning streak active in the state of North Carolina. A.J. Cook with the basketball, drives, kicks to the corner. Bernie Todd. And 
the rebound belongs to Amari Odom and the 23 and 7 Catamounts. Well, if they win this state title, it will be the lowest seed to ever win a title since the NCHSAA instituted seeding. They are a 15 seed. As a matter of fact, only one worst seed has ever played for a state title game. That was a couple of years ago. Daly to Jordan Snell. And the Warriors open up in a man-to-man, -man attacking. There's the kick out. Here is Snell. And this will go out of bounds all through this turn. Well, a good job moving the ball, staying patient on the offensive end. And Snell, the top three-point shooter for Panther Creek. Him and Amari Odin, the two leading scorers. Trying to get in the lane and create an open shot. In case you were wondering, you brought up Leesville Road earlier where Sean Robinson played as a 17 seed five years ago. They were the lowest seed to ever reach a championship game, but they got bombed by Southwest Guilford. Olin averaging 11 points, five rebounds, five assists a game. Calls out the play here for the countouts. Tight man to man by Evan Morton. Some contact, they play through, but not that second time. And the first foul goes against Evan Morton, one of the juniors on this senior-dominated Warriors team. Well, the challenge for Weddington is going to be dealing with the length and athleticism of Panther Creek, and it all starts with the Mario Odom, the quarterback on the football team. He's a six-foot-three point guard. And it's Jalon Robinson, named head coach of Panther Creek in 2014. His dad, Daryl, on the staff. He's a student teacher at Central Elementary High School when he was a senior at Clemson. Attacking the paint, little fallback though. Offensive even by Chase Lowe in a second crack. Cook the floor. Rebound to Rashawn Robinson. Big size advantage on the inside with James Daly, the 6'10 post. The little runner by Snell, no. And there are the first points ever in championship history for the Catamounts, Tyler Thompson. And Tyler Thompson has turned it on in the playoffs. He's a 6'6 six six defensive end receiving off from North Carolina on Wednesday on the football field. Michigan, Kentucky, West Virginia as well. Fraser, second leading scorer, 15 a game. He knocks down a three. Brought to you by West Shore Home. Bring it to happiness to every home. He's over 40% from beyond the three-point line on the year. Him and Cook are the two best three-point shooters. And Frazier's going to have a tough time helping out defensively on the inside. Jump around the corner. Three by Ray Sean Robinson. 5-3. Panther Creek. And here is Chase Lowe. Drive and attack. And goes against the 6-10. And lost the handle. Stepped out of his fingertips. Turnover by Weddington. A good job by James Daly. Down low, putting his arm straight up. And he's an enforcer. The low went right into the body with a good no call. And Weddington playing five guards, spreading the floor, five out, clearing up the lane area. And Daly doing the job on that possession. A couple of subs in for Weddington. Jack Ellison is in. Grady Broster Haas is in as well. And there's contact on the baseline. There'll be a foul. On Broster Haas, one of the six seniors on this Weddington team. And again, if you haven't been following along with Weddington, their incredible postseason journey. First round of the playoffs is a one versus 32. They went to overtime against Olympic and won. Then you go to the regional semifinals against Chambers. They trailed Chambers by five with 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Came back to win. If that weren't enough, in the next round, the regional finals, they trailed by six with 59 seconds left. Came back to win in regulation. 48 wins in a row, and here they are playing for another state title. And they've had big shots at the end of ball games, ice in their veins. They stayed composed. They've found a way with their chemistry. Stepping left, this is Frazier. Daly's first rebound, quick outlet. Up the floor comes Odom, taps the gas, jumps it to Snell, left corner three. And look how high Chase Lowe gets for the rebound. Three on one for Lowe. Slides a bounce pass. High back shot missed by Brosterhaus. And the tip will go in. And Chase Lowe with his first points of the championship. A special by Lowe leading the break. No look pass and then staying down low. And he caught that ball on the way down and just kind of threw it in for two. 7-5 countouts. They're playing the baseline. This is Thompson. Fade away no. 
And the rebound cannot be controlled by Rashawn Robinson. High level play already. Midway through the opening quarter for the 4A title. Panther Creek, an early two point lead. I got my COVID 19 vaccine because I want to work towards a more normal world in the classroom and for sports and my grandparents. I got vaccinated because I love my family. I love my friends. Visit myspot.nc.gov to schedule your child's COVID-19 vaccine today. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. No problem. For a championship game underway, Panther Creek and Weddington. One of these schools will win its first ever 4A state title. Wedding to the defending 3A champs, but buffed up in class. The Catamount 23 and 7. Three straight road wins in the middle of this playoff run. Winning at two seed New Hanover. Winning at Apex Friendship by four. Winning at Millbrook by three. And then they knocked off Cleveland in the regional final on the neutral floor last Saturday. Well, they've been battle tested and they had six football players. Their football program went to the regional final. They didn't come back till December, so they've missed all the preseason pet practices. And Kyle Frazier failing it early. His second three in the quarter. That's brought to you by West Shore Home, bringing happiness to every home. 8 7 Weddington. Chris Ueo, number three on the floor for Panther Creek. He has been a huge, surprising spark for this Catamount team in the postseason. Ball in his hands now. He's just a sophomore. Odom repels out to midcourt. And they will reset. Up top, Odom for three. And the rebound ripped down there by Evan Morton. Snaps it ahead low. Pocket picked. Amari Odom to the hole. And Panther Creek back on top. How quick was Odom tracking down that ball, jumping in the passing lane? Frazier up fit. Now attacking. A little contact. He'll shoot a couple of free throws. Tyler Thompson collects the foul for Panther Creek. Let's take a look. If you blink, you might have missed a steal at midcourt on this pass. Turned on the Jets. How athletic he is, just flying into the lane. Weddington with the response. Take the Builders discount center free throw line. Builders discount. Don't just fail. Build tough. Kyle Fraser, seven early points for Weddington. He hit the huge three that finished off the come from behind win over Chambers. And hit, hit a three against North Mech in the regional final to draw Weddington within one in that frantic last minute rally. Eight of the ten for the Warriors to Kyle Frazier. And now they set up what looks to be a trap right inside midcourt. Uwayo feels it. Skip over. Taylor gives it up. New play call by Shawan Robinson. On a third track. Daly flashing high. He does have that range. Misfires. And contact on the rebound. It was grabbed by Bill Abrams. And this is going to be a foul on Panther Creek. And it's going to be number two on Tyler Thompson. That's important. Because he is by far their best, most physical rebound. And he brings the toughness in the height. Six foot six down low. He goes over to the sideline with the two fouls. He's been so good in the playoffs. And so he checks out with two fouls. Daly departs as well. So Panther Creek going a whole lot smaller now. 
Two minutes left, opening quarter. Weddington ball with a one-point lead. This is Chase Lowe. Works on Tater. The quick drive hangs and scores. Made that look very easy. And he has that innate ability of first-up quickness just to hang in the air. Lowe just claws the basketball away. And a pull-up three, A.J. Curry. Five points in five seconds for the Warriors. And the lead is six. And well, Tater out of the corner. That's a three. to every home, West Shore home, 15-12, Weddington on top by three. Another attack, Chase Lowe, breaking down the Catamount defense on back-to-back -back possessions. He's so good in one-on-one -on -one situations, using the crossover dribble, the first up quickness, long frame, Panther Creek was outside. Lowe gets his handling pass, drives to the hole, and scores, and is fouled, and Chase Lowe, take it over. In the first quarter for Weddington. He does it on both ends of the court. In the passing lanes, knocking the ball loose. Good job with the anticipation right hand. And then he feels the body. The Panther Creek is able to lean back, knock it in, and he says, one more for me. Well, he was the MVP of the 3A title game last year when they beat Northwood by nine. And Gary Ellington, when he was asked about Chase Lowe and all the qualities that he represents, you don't hear coaches throw this out very often, but he said he's such a great kid in all facets. If he wanted to be president and change the world, he could. He has that much belief in Chase Lowe. High praise. Eight-point lead for the Warriors. Little floater, yes. First bucket by Jordan Snell. How you break the press, get the ball to the middle, and Snell pulling up. Good decision to shooting the ball into the defense. Both teams shooting well over 50% in this opening quarter, which only has 35 seconds left. AJ Cook dumps inside. This is Frazier. Frazier has 10, Lowe has 9. That's 19 of Weddington's 22 from those two players alone. 57% from the field. Here's your way Dribble knocked away, but right into the hands of Snell. 10 seconds left for Odom and the Catamounts. Down eight as the first quarter closes. Bounce into the corner. Ueo to the hole. Elevates. No. One dribble. The step back off glass. No good at the horn by Caleb Surges. And the first quarter comes to a close. Williamson knocks down three threes in the opening quarter. 48 game winning streak on the line for the defending 3A champs. They're up eight after one. You know, when I'm not busy driving nails, I'm driving through Builders Discount Center. And no wonder, they have top-grade materials and the best prices in town. The lumber, roofing, windows, vinyl siding, and complete packages for storage buildings, decks, even garages. And you can just drive in, load up, and drive out. You can't do that at those big box stores. Real projects, real materials, real fast. Don't just build, build tough. Buildersdiscount.net. The underdog, the long shot, the nobody from nowhere, never gonna happen in your dreams, kid. 100 to one shot. We know something about that. We're with you every step of the way. In a year like no other, this courtroom is hot. I completely understand. Yeah, I'm glad that you understand. Just, yes, I don't need you to validate me. Let me just yes, make my point. You had said at the outset was we always had a troubled relationship. And you're like, no, she was really kind. But then she just started being herself and destroying her own property. I opened up my doors to her that is and not her true two daughters. daughters. I gave him ah, rent. I have her that was that I think I should write. Okay. It's a hot bench of a season. Weeknights at 7 and 7.30 on MyRDC 28. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. I got my COVID-19 vaccine because I want to work towards a more normal world. 
in the classroom and for sports and my grandparents. I got vaccinated because I love my family. I love my friends. Visit myspot.nc.gov to schedule your child's COVID-19 vaccine today. Let's check out the first quarter stats brought to you by a Legacy Federal Credit Union. Be your best you with a Legacy Federal Credit Union. It's been a pretty good game as far as the stats go. Very even. The difference has been the shooting for Weddington. 57% from the field, 60% from the three-point line. Panther Creek pretty good as well, 43%. But Weddington has come out, shot the ball very efficiently, and been on fire. Yeah, Chase Lowe, Kyle Frazier, 7 of 9 combined from the floor. 19 of Weddington's 22 points as we take a look at the Hardy's points in the paint. Pretty even down low, 8 to 6. You figure Panther Creek should win in that area with their height advantage. Try to do a bacon beast menu at Hardy's. Crispy bacon and a burger, biscuit, or breakfast burrito. And rise in is Jesse Powell. First points of the game, first moments of the game for Powell. Powell committed to Elon on the football field. Provides energy and production off the bench. Evan Martin rejects the screen from Fraser, spins in the lane, hangs that will count if it goes. And free throws on the way. Ueo with his first foul. So Evan Martin scoreless in the game, averages about 12 per. The junior with the first of two, and he's in the books. Chase Lowe just got a little bit of a breather. About 36 seconds of game time. That'll be enough. <laughs> Want him out on the court. Lead back to eight. And you can see what makes this Weddington team so dangerous. Everybody on the floor is capable to score. From the perimeter and at the rim. Uweo looks to reverse the snap. They dump it in daily, and we get it off of the ball. Foul going on Panther Creek, and that's going to go on Jesse Powell for a hold before that pass got to daily. Looks like they're holding Bernie Ta. There's a pick set on him. A little bit of contact. Too much. Turnover back to Weddington, plus eight. This is their biggest lead. They throw two at low. There's a skip, and it's out of bounds over the head of A.J. Cook. Tough pass to make, especially when you're going against tall, athletic guys who can jump. Yeah, and James Daly's coming at you with yeah. his arms up. You're going across court. It's a tough play. I mean, you talk about how Daly's defense and length and size can impact simple things like that kind of skip pass, which you almost take for granted. Here's Amari Odom. Panther Creek had never been past the fourth round ever until this year. Now they're playing for a title. And the attack by Odom, he, he gets hits. And the foul against Chase Lowe, number one. Ari Odom picking up where he left off. 16 points against Cleveland in the regional final. We're back on the football team. He's got offers from ECU, UNLV, and many others coming in. And Tyler Thompson back out there for the Catamounts with two fouls. There's a deflected pass. Thompson gets it, faking, gets it in front of the rim, leaves it short. And a hard rebound by Bernie Tom. Well, these Warriors are proving to be very tough so far. Low, over the head pass, stepping left, Frazier. No. Rebound on the run, Odom. And here come the Catamounts. Good look inside, Thompson. That's how you break pressure. Move the ball quickly up the court. 24-18, Warriors. Snell trying to hang with A.J. Cook. Reversing out Evan Morton with the left hand. No, Daly cleans the miss and then throws it away. Low, though, could not handle it. Daly had to release that pass fast because he's fallen out of bounds, but threw it right in the palms of Chase Lowe, who also has been all balance as we get a timeout call. And you have to be careful with Lowe when he's running back up the court. He just has a tendency, tendency to kind of turn around and jump in the passing lane. So Panther Creek has to be aware of where he is on the defensive end. Stay tuned. The MySpot.nc.gov halftime report. COVID vaccines 
Available to everybody five and up. Boosters for 12 and older. Find them at myspot.nc.gov. Coming up at halftime, Q Tucker, the commissioner of the NCHSAA. We will have first half highlights and analysis. That's all coming up. Bladington 24, Panther Creek 18. It does make you wonder in a game like this with this kind of pace, how much of an impact James Daly can have because Weddington certainly wants to run. They move the ball very fast. He's 6'10". He's a much better defender, kind of almost in a half-court set. I don't... This isn't necessarily the, the best matchup for him. We'll see how Shawan Robinson uses it. I think what she can do is, is really just guard the three-point line, funnel everything into the paint and let him to block shots, what he does best on the defensive end. I'm curious to watch that kind of subplot in this game. Warriors again looking to trap right near midcourt. Panther Creek breaks it with Robinson back in the flip. A little bit against A.J. Cook. Thompson will need to be cautious with a couple of fouls. Snell. Odom. Takes a drive. This is Thompson with two fouls on the baseline. Spins back. And that deflected pass by A.J. Cuff knocked it into his coaching staff's bench. Ludington very active communicating. We can hear them talking to each other. Gary Ellington you know, as well talking to his team throughout the possessions and wanting pressure. Now a double team runs right at Thompson. And a timeout called by Panther Creek. Good timeout by Shawan Robinson. 5.15 left. Second quarter, 24-18, Panther Creek leading. Well, coming up post game, we're going to talk about NC play of the game. Start the conversation, stop underage drinking. They waited all day for this and really all year for this. 48 wins in a row by the Weddings and Warriors. And they probably had moments where they thought, oh, this is the end, right? Maybe the first round game. Regional semifinal. Oh, this is the end. Nope. <laughs> Last Saturday. Oh, this has got to be the end against North Mac. Down six with 59 seconds left. But no, here they are. They feel this is a year of destiny at the 4A level for the first time. I feel like it's going to be special. And whenever you have close endings and you find a way, persevere through adversity, you make it happen, you feel like you're destined for this moment. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm now giving up ground in the backcourt. Count is on. It's in the hands of Snell. He'll have to rush to beat the count. And just does. Hook pass. Volleyball back to midcourt and saved by Snell. And then he got fouled right at midcourt by A.J. Cook. Now, Snell is retrieving that ball, acting like he had to stay in the front court, but he didn't because it was deflected by Weddington. And that almost cost the Cowboys. And he's trying to stay right behind the half-court line. And that was batted toward the backcourt by Weddington. Five minutes left, second quarter. And Chase Rowe at the top of the pressure, six foot five. It's so tough to get around him. Well, Odom had a tough time solving it and throws it away. Cook the steal. And now Weddington looks to make him pay. This is Morton to the hole, and Hill has shoot a couple of free throws. Morton spotting up on the opposite side. It's the pass from Cook, and then the hang time is going into the lane, knowing he's going to draw contact to get to the line. He's such a smart player. And the first free throw from the NC DPS free throw line is good. The foul charged against Daly. Three points now for Evan Morton. And Shawan Robinson in his time at Clemson. He saw a lot of heavy ball pressure in his time in the ACC. He'll need to tutor his squad on how to best handle the pressure they're seeing tonight from Weddington. Lead back to eight. UAU. A tough house pass. Just did get threaded into Snell. UAU. That pass batted down. Steal by Cook. Three on two. Cook saves the dribble. And a pass cross court hit Daly in the mouth. And he'll get credit for steals. He checks to make sure he's not bleeding. Good hustle by him. There's Daly flashing a high post. A close out before Snell can make the shot. Daly got knocked out of his hand. Saves it. Finds Odom. 
And a skip pass into the corner, saved by Weddington. Long down court to Martin. And the lead on the tip in is now 10 for the first time in the championship. Frazier, Johnny on the spot. And the pressure is creating problems. The Panther Creek has to look to go towards the hoop. They're looking to pass too much. They've just got to be aggressive, go north and south, and put pressure on Weddington. And I'll tell you what, A.J. Cook, number 12 for Weddington, he's playing very hard defensively. He's deflected a whole bunch of passes, a couple of steals. Closes out late here, and Awayo can't knock down the three, low the rebound. He wants A.J. Cook. The flip back, Frazier over Daly. And Thompson the rebound. Snell, good fake. Short with a three. Who wants the rebound? The Catamounts do. Attacking his own of eye off glass. No. Got his own miss on the tip. And swatted straight down, but he's hammered to the ground. Nothing coming easy for Panther Creek. 3 0 2 left second quarter. Weddington leads by 10. In 100 counties in North Carolina, we have over 800 agents. We are within the communities, and our job is to help you. It's, it's not just a business relationship, it's a friendship. North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. Parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. A reminder one more time at the end of the game, we will be selected our West Shore Home Player of the Game. West Shore home, bringing happiness to every home. Weddington, they have squeezed out a couple of fortunate wins in the last two rounds, but they are looking all the parts of a state champion so far. Up 10 on Panther Creek, late stages of the second quarter. How do the Catamounts just settle themselves in and attack as efficiently as they can? Well, you have to find a way to solve the pressure. I think what they have to do is instead of looking to pass the ball in the perimeter, you just have to drive and then dish to the outside. But you have to put pressure on the defense because right now the aggressors are Weddington on the defense end. You can tell Panther Creek is uncomfortable. Panther Creek has to flip that and use their athleticism and drive towards the hoop and put pressure on them and force Weddington into a disadvantage, a smaller lineup compared to the Catamounts. There's a look at Daly. He was still checking that lip and those teeth to make sure everything's in place. Maybe Mario Odom to the free throw line for the Catamounts. The number 15 seed in the East. They're on a five-game winning streak, which is their longest winning streak of the season. They lost seven games. Played a tough non-conference. Played in a very tough conference. And there's a microcosm of the game so far. Odom, incredible shooter. Air balls a free throw. And one more coming from the North Carolina Department of Public Safety free throw line. Go to ncdps.gov slash careers. 28-19, Weddington. Chase Lowe, nine points in the opening quarter. Frazier has 12. Cook. Playing around, this is Evan Morton. Attacks UIO, gets the hole, goes after Daly and scores. And it changed the direction, a little more air on that driving layup. First field goal of the game for Morton. Weddington now by 11. A tough pass got through, but it's travel called against the Catamounts. You use the term comfortable. That's a perfect term. They do not look comfortable at all. 
even after timeouts on how to dissect it with their coach instructing them. Well, and we talked about how are they going to solve it. Another way to limit it is fast break opportunities, and then on the defensive end, you can't give up made buckets because that sets up the press. So you've got to be better on the defensive side, create turnovers, and then getting the fast break opportunities for yourself. Right, Daly out, Tyler Thompson back in for the Catamounts with two fouls. And he will put pressure on the ball on Frazier. Coming down on two minutes for the half. Defense extended by Panther Creek. Morton slowing down by Thompson. He starts again, gets by him in front of the rim. That is off the rim, and it's an offensive foul. And Amari Odom got the call there, and you see the emotion. That was a huge lift. They needed something positive on the defensive end and stepped up. Second foul against North. Here's a look. Gives up his body. Good job anticipating the drive, getting in position. And so Morton will go to the bench with a couple of fouls late in this first half. Sprinting through that soft trap. Catamounts skip it to Snell. This is Thompson. A look to the inside. Saved by Panther Creek. And now the scramble by the Weddington defense and free throws coming for Odom. I mean, it's every single offensive set for the Catamounts. I mean, they're working overtime to even get a somewhat of a clean look. And they're spending so much energy. Odom so good, though, with his driving ability, and that's what they've got to do, just go towards the hoop and put pressure on Weddington instead of vice versa. Second foul of Roster House as Odom makes the first of two from the NCDPS free throw line. NCDPS.gov slash careers to start your new career. And Bailey back in. Weddington by 10. I mean, these two teams through their playoff run. Just about every game they played collectively has been a single-digit game, and they're used to playing tight contests. Odom makes a pair. Weddington leads by nine. Now a little backcourt pressure by the Catamounts. We'll see how Weddington handles it. Usually teams that press well don't like it. What is done against them? Jack Ellison, number one, back out there. Gets the return feed, and the layup. Beautifully executed. A two-man game, a little give and go. Uh, put the ball in the post and then make a cut. Good job getting in the lane. Uio. Odom. Can't turn the corner. Deflected pass into the backcourt. Cook may get to it. Saves it right to Uio. And an opportunity now for the Catamounts. Thompson charging the hole. Offensive foul. That's number three. And Thompson runs straight to the bench. Bill Abrams, number 11. Perfect position right outside of the circle. Well, he knew it. He knew it was an offensive foul. He knew he was going to be subbed out, so he got up and ran straight down the sideline of the bench. David Tater, number 11, back in for the Catamounts. Inside a minute for the first half. Cook kicked right into our area. I tell you what, great hands down there. <laughs> well, one of the members of the media to our right. A reminder, stay tuned. The myspot.nc.gov halftime report coming up. Q Tucker will join us. First half highlights and more. Visit myspot.nc.gov for details on where you can Get your COVID-19 vaccine shots. Low, quickly burst into the baseline. Hands delicately in score. Such good body control. He had the baseline, went in and pulled up a little bit shy away from the contact. And now the largest lead of the half for Weddington. Panther Creek inside the final 30 seconds. Well. Looks like the Catamounts are content to hold for the last shot here. The screen will be set. Tater to Odom down the lane. 
Well, where is that going? Tip Lewis got it back and foul. Lamar Odom, that ball's coming out of his hand, trying to take on three interior defenders for Weddington. Again, that, that's just how, how problematic it's been for the Cataracts to get any kind of shot in the rim tonight. And they're just collapsing down and making it tough. I like to fight the Bowden continuing to go for the ball to get to the line. Foul on Ellison. And Odom. This will be his sixth free throw of this quarter, his daily returns. But this, this first half feels like any shot Weddington wants, they can get. Any shot Panther Creek wants, they cannot get. I mean, to me, it's as simple as that. They're trying. This is next to impossible right now. 11 point lead for Weddington. Time for low. Four seconds left low. Taps the gas. Scoops a pass away. This will count if it goes. There was a whistle, though, I thought, before halftime hit. I thought I heard a whistle before that horn went off, but evidently not. The officials will run off of the floor. And that is the end of the opening half. And Shawan Robinson takes a look at the scores table. And he will have to problem solve. Weddington. 48 wins in a row, looking for a 4A state title. They're up on Panther Creek by 11. Parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. West Shore Home is the easiest solution on the market for shower and bath remodeling. And today I'm joined by Kirsten to see why so many homeowners trust West Shore with their shower and bath project. So Joe, every year thousands of homeowners use us for their bath or shower remodel. We make it so easy and convenient. Check us out online. You're going to see thousands of reviews, customers raving about West Shore Home. Yeah, check them out. It's like one five-star review after another. It's really impressive. Now, I know a lot of people are getting ready to start their project now. Anything special you can do for them? So Joe, anyone who's looking to update their shower or bath should definitely give us a call. We're offering five years of 0% interest financing plus 50% off the cost of installation. Take a look at some of these jobs we've done recently. The work turns out amazing. Folks, you heard Kirsten. West Shore Home helps tens of thousands of homeowners every year. And give them a call now and take advantage of that great offer. It's five years of 0% interest financing plus 50% off the cost of installation. Call West Shore Home now. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. Arby's, two for six bucks. Every day, crispy fish with that spicy kick. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. You're watching the myspot.nc.gov halftime report. COVID-19 vaccines are available to everyone 5 and older and boosters for 12 and older. Find them at myspot.nc.gov. Back in Chapel Hill for the 4A men's state championship game. Weddings in 34, Panther Creek 23, and Jay... For Panther Creek down by 11, what's the what's the focus of the conversation right now in the locker room? Well, it's just to calm down the offensive end, figure out a way to break the press, and then you've got to hit some shots on the outside to loosen things up. And on the defensive end, you have to find a way to slow down the shooting ability. 55% from Weddington in the first. All right, Weddington with the longest active winning streak in the state, 48 in a row. Way to their first 4A state title, leading Panther Creek by 11. Sometimes playing our best game means changing our approach. Think about your favorite sport. For me, that's soccer. When you're playing a new team and you use a new move against them, you score. But once the rival team sees your moves, they can prepare against your team in the future. That's how viruses 
like the coronavirus work. Which means as new variants pop up, we have to adapt to defend ourselves. COVID-19 vaccines help our bodies recognize the virus and the different variants. They are our best defense against COVID-19. So don't wait to vaccinate. Visit myspot.nc.gov. Everyone five and older can get a COVID-19 vaccine. Visit myspot.nc.gov. You know, and I'm not busy driving nails, I'm driving through Builders Discount Center. And no wonder, they have top-grade materials and the best prices in town. The lumber, roofing, windows, vinyl siding, and complete packages for storage buildings, decks, even garages. And you can just drive in, load up, and drive out. You can't do that at those big box stores. Real projects, real materials, real fast. Don't just build, build tough. Buildersdiscount.net. Parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. You're watching the myspot.nc.gov halftime report. COVID-19 vaccines are available to everyone 5 and older and boosters for 12 and older. Find them at myspot.nc.gov. Welcome in, Commissioner Tucker. It's great to have you back after another successful season. How good is it to be back in the Smith Center at Reynolds Coliseum for the championships? Well, it is so good that I can hardly contain myself in trying and describe it. Uh, it's been two years almost to the date when we had to postpone and then ultimately cancel our state championships. Even though we had championships last year and they were in great venues uh, of our high schools on our high school campuses, but to be back in our old stomping grounds, so to speak, it just is a good feeling. It makes us uh, feel like we're getting back to what is more normal. How did the regional championships go at all the sites across the state? I thought for the most part, uh, every every comment I heard has been very, very, po uh, um, very positive. We had been thinking about the fifth round being in a neutral facility and looking at some of the large high schools, but it was difficult to be able to do that prior to some teams uh, not advancing. And so some of those large high schools stepped forward and said, you know what, we'll host. And uh, they they did a, a wonderful job. So many exciting games this weekend. What are you most looking forward to? As I am a former basketball coach, I always am excited to just be able to watch the game be played. Uh, so just to be able to get into the Smith Center, get into Reynolds, uh, and, and be able to see basketball is always just a thrill for me. But what I enjoy the most is being able to look at the faces of the young people as they compete to watch the coaches as they're on the sidelines trying to get them to perform at their highest level. Uh, it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful experience. And then, of course, you can't dismiss the fans. Uh, they all come in. They all know how to coach that game. They all know how to officiate that, that game. And so just to watch them and to just experience them experiencing the game is really just exciting. Shifting gears a bit to the organizational side, of the association. Can you provide an update on the NCHSAA's progress towards a memorandum of understanding with the State Board of Education? Well, since November, House Bill 91 uh, obviously was, was uh, signed by Governor Cooper back then. Since that time, our executive committee, along with our full board of directors, have been working with the 
Board of Education to carve out the memorandum of understanding. Uh, there were some rules that had to be uh, crafted, uh, drafted, so to speak. And then once those rules were put in place, or at least were put on paper, then we went about the business of trying to get the memorandum of understanding uh, to something that would still be of a benefit to not only the organization itself, but to all boys and girls across the state. So we now have a memorandum of understanding that has not been signed, but our board has essentially uh, said we will approve of what we've been able to uh, carve out. Right now, the process, the voting is underway, and then it'll be about the uh, bylaws and trying to make sure that they all work together. And then it goes into effect July 1, 2022. Thank you for your time, Commissioner Tucker, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in North Carolina. This message presented by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association and the North Carolina Athletic Directors Association. At Avondale Assisted Living, we take pride in being the premier provider of personalized senior care and living. Our residents feel at home because our locations are actual homes in residential neighborhoods. Avondale is committed to maintaining an at-home family-like environment for seniors whose families are unable to provide at-home care. We offer full-time personalized care to every resident in each of our homes. Become part of our family. Schedule a visit to one of our Avondale homes today. There's only one rule. The motion picture rating R stands for what? Unfunny, you should ask. Ready to see boobs? Don't stop laughing. What you talking about, Bruce Willis? It's America's Game Show, where comics rule. In the cat and the fiddle. Who runs away with the spoon? The crackhead. <laughs> Join the fun. Watch the next Funny You Should Ask. You're invited. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale is going on now. So get ready to save big with 66-month interest-free financing and low monthly payments on incredible styles store-wide starting at $5.99. Amazing pieces, beautiful rooms, great sale prices, and low interest-free monthly payments for 66 months starting at $5.99. Let's go. The anniversary sale of Rooms to Go is going on now. Panther Creek by 11, moments away from the third quarter. And Jason Hudson will take a look at some first half highlights. The defense for Weddington has been there calling cards so far today. It seems like everybody's gotten into the act. Ball movement, Frazier knocked down some outside shots. They've been really doing a nice job with separating the court, spacing, and they've just been efficient. They've been making shots very simple. And then on the defensive side, Chase Lowe has led the way, creating opportunities for his teammates. And Cook knocked down a big one. And here, Lowe did it all, coast to coast. Yeah, they just presented a lot of problems here for Panther Creek in this contest. A lot of deflections by A.J. Cook as well. First half saw Lowe and Fraser combined for 23 points for Weddington. Here's a look at the first half stats brought to you by a legacy federal credit union. Uh, points off turnovers. Weddington taking advantage of that area. And then a three-point shooting. They only had seven shot attempts. They knocked down three. They've just been really good with their decision making and making Panther Creek uncomfortable. That's been a huge part of the first half. Right? Be your best you with a legacy federal credit union. Second half on the way, Panther Creek down 11, hoping to press the right buttons for a championship game rally. Wedding sent up double digits as the second half begins coming up. With four strips of crispy bacon and rich melty cheese and two juicy charbroiled patties, of course no meeting can compete with this meat. Give in to the new Double Bacon Beast Burger at Hardee's and feed your happy.
parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. You know, and I'm not busy driving nails, I'm driving through Builder's Discount Center. And no wonder, they have top grade materials and the best prices in town. The lumber, roofing, windows, vinyl siding, and complete packages for storage buildings, decks, even garages. And you can just drive in, load up, and drive out. You can't do that at those big box stores. Real projects, real materials, real fast. Don't just build, build tough. Buildersdiscount.net. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you, shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. My RDC 28 and Sinclair Broadcast Group want to help the next generation of storytellers. If you're pursuing a career in journalism or marketing, scan the QR code on your screen to apply for the Sinclair Broadcast Group Diversity Scholarship. The deadline is April 30th. Visit sbgi.net slash scholarship. With crispy bacon and fluffy eggs and melty cheese. Oh, Beast Mode doesn't have to stop for breakfast. Give in to the new Bacon Beast breakfast menu at Hardee's and feed your happy. All right, final half of championship basketball on this Saturday night from Chapel Hill. Weddington, the top seed out of the West, unbeaten with an 11 point lead on the 15 seed out of the East. Panther Creek. Patrick Kittish, Jay Schoenholz are back with you. And Jay, let's revisit our Ingalls food for thought and let's see how they have uh, played out. Love this low, low price and love the save. Uh, the Catamounts have to slow down the outside shooting and then also stop driving lanes as well. The shot selection, they haven't been able to get into flow of their offense. Weddington, A+. Plus. They've controlled the pace. They've done whatever they wanted to do on the offensive and defensive side, and then crashing the boards has been pretty even, but they've been physical on the glass. All right, now, how about the Hardy's points in the paint for the first half? Uh, a lot of these points have come on drives, fast break opportunities. Weddington winning in this area, Panther Creek, the second half. That's where they really need to make a big jump is inside winning down low on the block. Right, Hardy's try the new bacon beast menu at Hardy's. Crispy bacon and burger, biscuit or breakfast burrito. Ball belongs to Weddington with an 11-point lead as we get underway in the second half. Evan Norton had six in the first half, low 11. Frazier led Weddington with a dozen. A.J. Cook, a useful contributor as well, with steals and assists. And a driving layup opens up the third quarter by Evan Morton. Matches the biggest lead of the game. And a near steal, but another deflection. Bernie Ta this time for Weddington. That's going to be the first thing that I'll be watching in this third quarter is what wrinkles, what changes, if any, will we see from Panther Creek on how to best handle the Weddington press. It will it be ball fakes? Will it be ball movement? Will it be more aggressive attacking it? Here's Odom. With the right hand, couldn't finish. Robinson for the rebound and gets the foul, but they will count. Good job. They got into the teeth of the defense. And then when you put the ball up, they've got height down low. So if it's a miss, just let your guys go to work. Robinson staying with it, getting the contact, and going to the line for an in one. Right, a third foul on Evan Morton. So from the NCDPS free throw line, free throw missed. Frazier grabs the rebound. And quickly ahead, the attack. And Bernie Todd to the free throw line. Went right at Daly. Panther Creek on the missed free throw. A little tardy getting back. Bernie Todd's come on as of late. Runs the floor. The junior goes in. And just attacks the rim. Second foul on James Daly. And now to the NCDPS.gov slash careers free throw line. And that one rolls off very good by Todd. 
First free throw missed by Weddington all game as Jack Ellison returns. Morton sits with three fouls. Misses a pair. Deficit remains 11 facing the Catamounts. They haven't had many opportunities to string back-to-back -back possessions together, and that one gets away. And now Thompson and Robinson kind of getting on one another for where the mistake lies. Hey, AJ, I haven't seen a lot of really five or six point pushes by Panther Creek in this game. It's a missed opportunity. And there's an opportunity here. Odom, great anticipation, driving in the hall, and Panther Creek is within single digits. That's the recipe, do it on the defensive end. Odom, the best defender, turns into easy offense. Weddington by nine. Cook offloads it, low. Against Robinson, nice spin, left-handed shot, no. They need the rebound, quick outlet Odom. Trying to get it within seven, maybe six. Oh, that pass had no shot. A no-look pass underneath, steal by low. Opportunity for Weddington. And no foul called. Thompson throws it ahead and gosh, throws it away. Look at Shalon Robinson, his sideline for the Catamounts. Slow, down, settle, down. They're trying to recover a nine-point deficit in one play. I like the energy that they've come out with in the second half. There, you just got to pull it back out. I know you want to get an easy buck in transition. Just have to slow it down and then move the ball up the court, get it past the midcourt, and then run your offense. Here's Cook working on Snell. Got him in the air, whips a pass down low, and knocked out by Daly. Weddington by nine, low will throw in. And a sub on the floor, Jesse Powell in for the Catamounts. Replacing Thompson, who's out there with three fouls. Low, spots up Cook in the corner. Frazier, a catch and release, yes. You think they've done that a few times this year? They play so well together. Frazier knocks it in. 15 points, and now Frazier got his forearm on that pass after knocking in another West Shore home three-pointer. What I like about Weddington is they execute on offense. Immediately, they turn their focus on the defensive side and playing so hard, working well together. They, they don't take any possessions off. And nor do they waste any time celebrating. I mean, they just hustle back and tell themselves what's next. Weddington by 12. Odom finds a seam, slides a nice bounce pass inside of Powell. That's how you attack that zone look by Weddington. Warriors by 10. A.J. Cook takes the dribble all the way across the floor. Bill Abrams on the floor for Weddington, number 11 for the first time today. Here's Frazier with three three-pointers. Count is on. Panther Creek screaming for the bench. They wanted a five-second call. Cook up top. Abrams open. Bounce pass poked away. Late whistle. And they'll go on Panther Creek. I think it's Rayshon Robinson. And Chase will spread out down low to try to force Robinson to go all the way around him and he gets the call because of how low he was staying keeping a low center of gravity so Weddington gets it in Frazier finds Cook in the corner for three yes second for the senior AJ Cook the fifth of the game for Weddington and the lead to 13 and a steal by low behind the back and a reach in that's what knocked the girl out of his hands well, Cook and Frazier both broke the school record Three-pointers in a season for Weddington. And they're just continuing to add up to the record book. Each guy with 40% on the year. Weddington by 13. Baseline out of bounds play. So Robinson out. Daly out. Thompson is back on the floor. There's too many careless possessions for Panther Creek. 
Cook will drive, up fake. Frazier throws to Lowe. Nowhere to go in the baseline. A smart play here by Chase Lowe. It wasn't there. And a new play call from Gary Ellingson. Ellison had it knocked away. Catamount's extending, taking swats of the basketball, trying to force some turnovers. Cook gets in, lost his balance, and the ball just lands in the hands of his teammate, Jack Ellison. Ball well, poked away in the backcourt. That'll be a foul on Weddington. And it's going to go on Chase Lowe. Number two on Lowe. Who, if he is a future president, will not be partnering in that referee on that call. <laughs> and timeout, 3.55 left, third quarter. Biggest lead in the championship for the Warriors, up 15 on Panther Creek. It's time for all parents to have that conversation with their pediatricians. Vaccines are an important part of the puzzle. We need to step out of ourselves and do what's best for everyone. Visit myspot.nc.gov to schedule your child's COVID-19 vaccine today. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. You know, and I'm not busy driving nails, I'm driving through Builder's Discount Center. And no wonder, they have top grade materials and the best prices in town. The lumber, roofing, windows, vinyl siding, and complete packages for storage buildings, decks, even garages. And you can just drive in, load up, and drive out. You can't do that at those big box stores. Real projects, real materials, real fast. Don't just build, build tough. Buildersdiscount.net. The end of tonight's game. We'll be selecting to talk it out. North Carolina play of the game. Start the conversation. Stop underage drinking. Weddington 44, Panther Creek 29. Just beyond the midway mark of quarter number three, Jay. We did see some signs of life from Panther Creek earlier in this quarter, but careless with the ball in a couple possessions. And they're facing their largest deficit tonight. Boy, in Weddington, yeah, they've been consistent throughout the year with the three-point shooting and protecting the basketball. So Panther Creek, they can't make any mistakes or turnovers themselves. And then they just have to make shots. You know, again, continue to drive with Odom. But when he dishes the outside, the guys have to step up and make outside shots, especially three-pointers. Odom and dribble drive. Uyo hangs. Extra pass. And now one more to the base. Now look how fast the Warrior defensive recovery is. Thompson throws down low. It's loose. Saved by the Catamounts. Uyo high-arcing shot flips in. A bucket for Uyo. But oh, man, that possession was not easy for the Catamounts. And all that work, quick, crisp passes, still a high degree of difficulty shot. Weddington is so active with their arms just getting in passing lanes and making it difficult. A.J. Cook for three. Does he miss? Rarely. Third of the game for Cook. A little West Shore home three-pointer. West Shore home bringing happiness to every home. 47-31 Warriors starting to pull away from Panther Creek. Snell charges in, and that's going to count. That is tough finish by Jordan Snell. And the senior Snell has had such a good year. Three-point shooter shows off his versatility with the hang time, the focus to knock it in. And this has to be go time for Panther Creek. 14-point deficit, opportunity to get one more point, but you've got to turn up the pressure on the defensive end. First foul on Abrams. Snell four points in the game. He's at the North Carolina Department of Public Safety free throw line. Misses the free throw and low tight ropes the end line for the rebound. 7-33, Weddington. 
in control. Martin, the jump stop. Oh, lost his balance, went down hard. Fortunately for the Warriors, there's going to be a, a cuticle on Tyler Thompson on that basketball as it rolled toward the end line. He didn't mean to touch it. And Morton is up and kind of feel around that left shoulder. It's been a physical ball game. Morton just goes into the paint. He's fearless. 24 left, third quarter. Weddington leads by 14. Frazier spotted in the corner. Long rebounding. Chase Lowe runs it down. So even when Weddington does miss offensive rebound, that's demoralizing for the Panther 3D. Trying to get possessions back to get back in this game. Chase Lowe. Easily gets around UA, attacks Thompson and lays it in. Makes it look easy. Sweet fake, and then the body control once he gets inside and is able to finish. Snell spins into trouble, finds a crease, barely grazes the iron. And you almost get the feeling, Jay, that these next couple of possessions for Panther Quick may decide whether this fourth quarter is competitive. Because we're on the verge of Weddington. Gap in this one. Low. Attacks. Hands and delicately. Backs went in over the 6'10 James Daly. And a timeout by Panther Creek. Sherrod Robinson feels it as well. 18 is the lead for the Warriors. Low has a special ability. When you've got a 6'11 shot blocker coming at you and you're able to get the ball up with enough arc. Also, the touch, I mean, that is one of the toughest shots when you got a shot blocker coming at you full speed. And again, he just makes it look easy. He's been so good tonight. Hey, reminder, coming up later in the fourth quarter, we will have our West Shore home player of the game. West Shore home, America's most admired home remodeling brand. Well, they made the long drive from Matthews, North Carolina, far out west. 30 and 0 this year, 48 straight wins. And their first ever appearance in a 4A title game. There the Catamount fans made a much shorter drive from Kerry. Yeah, the Panther Creek Catamounts now exiting the huddle, trailing by 18. And you almost get the sense that they're thinking, well, what's, what's left to try? Because they've attempted certain things, they're not making enough shots, but defensively is where Weddington has just carved them up all night long. On the defensive side, it's just been tough, it's been difficult. It's just stressful possessions, and they've shot the ball 46% from the field. I mean, they've been shooting it pretty well, it's just, it hasn't been easy. You weigh them through the middle of the defense, and it adjust their shot. Rebound to Tom. Moving close toward one minute left in this third quarter. There's a skip to a wide open A.J. Cook. Still will not miss. Three threes in this quarter for Cook. And for the game, he's four for four from deep. He's got that beautiful rainbow arc. Looks like Steph Curry shooting the ball. On him. Underneath. Finds a man in the sideline, and that is a three for Chris Uweo. Uweo with the needed response. Good job by him coming back. West Shore home three. Went to West Shore home. Bring it happens to every home. Winds in by 18. Looks like they're holding for the last shot. Low to Cook. His deepest of the night.
Parents all over North Carolina are taking the Talk It Out pledge with their teens. It helps you make a plan together for what they'll do if friends have alcohol. It says they can call you anytime without being punished. Thanks, Dad. Anytime. Thanks for calling. No problem. You know, when I'm not busy driving nails, I'm driving through Builder's Discount Center. And no wonder. They have top-grade materials and the best prices in town. The lumber, roofing, windows, vinyl siding, and complete packages for storage buildings, decks, even garages. And you can just drive in, load up, and drive out. You can't do that at those big box stores. Real projects, real materials, real fast. Don't just build, build tough. Builderdiscount.net. Justice is doing a double take. I think you're a liar. Sir, the game is over. With the People's Court with Judge Marilyn Millian and Judge Mathis. I'm riveted by this. The People's Court brings the hammer down. You know what I think? I think you're a crook. Pay the lady back the money you ripped her off of. And Judge Mathis keeps it real. She hates me now because I'm dating her ex-husband, Peter. Her kids live with us. You took her husband and her kids. Two great court shows on one great station. On my RDC. It's time for all parents to have that conversation with their pediatricians. Vaccines are an important part of the puzzle. We need to step out of ourselves and do what's best for everyone. Visit myspot.nc.gov to schedule your child's COVID-19 vaccine today. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. Let's, let's get to your uh, Legacy Federal Credit Union stats through three quarters. Be your best you with the Legacy Federal Credit Union, James. Well, the difference in the ball game is the shooting ability for Weddington. 60% from the field, that's pretty good. Even better, though, from the three-point line, 61%. They were unconscious in the third quarter. Panther Creek, you know, their percentages are pretty good. It's just... Weddington is on fire, and then they're creating turnovers on the defensive end. Yeah. Five made threes in that third quarter alone for the Warriors. They open eight minutes away from a 4A title, up by 21. And look at how these points. The Pates have two more on that column for Panther Creek. The bucket by James Daly, his first points of the game. And they need to get the ball to the middle, get it to him to loosen up the zone press. Points to Pates, rather do a bacon beast menu at Hardy's. Crispy bacon and a burger, biscuit, or breakfast burrito. Chase Low, a no look, hook pass out front. And there's a three, and it's Grant Hamilton. Probably it's a Bernie Tom for his first points of the game. 60 38. Quick three miss by Panther Creek. The layoff, though, on the offensive rebound is in by Tyler Thompson. Weddington is now 9 out of 14, Jay, from, from deep. <laughs> Cook is 5 for 5, Frazier 3 for 7, Taz now 1 for 2. And it's like contagious. I mean, Cook knocks in a couple, and then Todd comes across. I mean, Frazier, everybody has the three-point shooting ability. They can be a threat on every possession. Thompson knocks down the free throw from the Builders Discount Center free throw line. Builders Discount. Go just build. Build top. 61-40. Weddington. The 3A state champs last year up to the 4A level this year. And that pass off the fingers of Todd. Out of bounds. Kyle Fraser a little slow to get up. Just the seventh turnover by Weddington in the game. Panther Creek is committed 13. Daly in, Robinson out. Well, almost everything offensively for the Panther Creek Catamounts has to be quick. Three-pointer Ueo missed. Rebound deflected out, loose, taken away by Odom. And Ueo will jump onto Odom. Open for three. Yes. That's what it will take. And a quick timeout by Sean Robinson. And that has to be the strategy. I mean, you can take twos, but you're going to have to get hot the same way Weddington is right now. You've got to do the same exact thing. That was a good start by Odom. So 6.43 remaining in this final quarter. 
Panther Creek has scored eight points the first minute 17 of the fourth. I mean, coaches generally would say, you know, take your time, let's work our way, work the ball around, three, four passes, get a good shot. Not at this stage, if you're Panther Creek. It's got to be a, a, a good shot, quick in the possession, and you need a lot of them. Yeah, one pass, drive and dish, but you have to be aggressive, and Shawan Robinson wants his team lock things up on the defensive side. They've got to press and get turnovers and find a way to get Weddington off of their game and get them out of control and take advantage of those opportunities. But it starts on the defensive end, and then you just simply got to make shots. So we'll look at the Weddington huddle out. And we were talking with Gary Ellenson a couple of days ago. He said, you know, we do feel a sense of validation with the schedule they play, the big schools that they beat. Again, up from 3A to 4A. It doesn't get any bigger and higher than that across the state of North Carolina. So going 18-0 last year to win that title, going unbeaten this year, but then taking down some of the Paragons in 4A out west. And here they are in the 4A state title game a year later. 48 in a row. That is so difficult. Especially when you know opponents are coming after you, try to break it up. And every single ball game, even when the obstacles are against them, especially in the playoffs, they found a way. Yeah. Now three of their five starters will graduate: Chase Lowe, AJ Cook, and Kyle Frazier. But boy, are they leaving a legacy! Warriors will inbound, leading by 16. It's in the hands of Chase Lowe. Low hits Taw in the corner. Now as fast as Panther Creek wants to shoot when they get the ball down by 16 is as deliberate as the Warriors will attempt to be. Even if it just means 15 or 20 seconds of possession. Morton attacks, strips, and oh, looks like that may have gone off of his leg. And it will stay with the Warriors. We'll take a look. Did it go off of Three's leg? Sure looks like it. Yeah. Should be Panther Creek ball. Stays with the Warriors. Hell right through the hands of Chase Lowe. And that's going to be an over and back violation. So I guess there is justice in this world, right? <laughs> they get it. Happens the way it should be. And now the way officials will get together. What was interesting about when that went into the backcourt, as the ball was touched by Lowe for over and back, it looked like there was almost a push by a Panther Creek player, but I thought maybe a foul was going to be called before the over and back, but that's not likely to be the case here. And Gary Owenson lodging a protest in vain. Panther Creek will bring it in, down by 16. Every possession for the Catamounts will be big. Finds a crack, bullet pass, run away. Oh, and Thompson looks back at the line and says, Chris yells at his, his guard. They just got to shoot it. And instead of trying to make the pass inside, just shoot it from the outside. And now some pressure in the backcourt by Daly and company, broken by the Warriors. In the hands of Chase Lowe. A little bit of a clear out here. Oh, look at this mismatch. Low against Daly, attacking him hard. Dumped in the corner. Offensive foul, though, on Low. Nice outside defense. Panther Creek. They're doing, putting together some possessions. Good job to help defense. And Odom, second charge of the ball game. That's the Catamounts bring it up. Down by 16. Snell looks to the sideline, Ueo. Thompson faking to Daly and knifes his way through. It's down to 14. Five and a half left. The foundation being laid for a potential recovery here by Panther Creek. And a timeout by Weddington with 520 left, and he wants a full. couple of rounds it's been teams having a tough time closing out Weddington those teams being Chambers and North Mecklenburg 
in the regional semis and regional finals. Well, now it's Weddington's job. Role reversal. Can they close out Panther Creek to claim a state title after building a big move? And I like the timeout by Gary Ellington. He could feel a momentum shift. Panther Creek putting possessions together, kind of creeping back in the game. Only down by 14, so I like to call it bring your team over to the sideline, calm everybody down and diagnose the pressure to try to get the ball up the court, limit the turnovers, and I think we'll see them slow down the pace to try to burn the clock. All right, a note just came across for Weddington in this remarkable shooting game. They're shooting 61.1% so far with five minutes left. That would rank third all-time in a state championship game. North Surrey back in 1989 shot 64.3. So if Weddington stays this hot, <laughs> at least it'll be something for a hat to be hung on if you're Shawan Robinson and Panther Creek saying, well, we just got beat by the best shooting team ever in a state championship game. Although Robinson would love for them to cool off and give his Catamounts a chance to rally. Out of the timeout, Weddington will have it. Plus 14. To Cook, who has not missed from three-point range in five attempts. Oh, nearly traveled, just got the pass away to Morgan. Heavy ball pressure by everybody on the floor, including this man, Daly, at 6'11". Todd gets by him, run through defender. It's an offensive foul again. That one taken by Thompson. Love the unselfish play by Thompson. Following him, Odom's lead taking the charge, and he's set up. Right underneath the hoop, look at number five. Just takes it. Easiest call of the night for the officials. That was Shawan Robinson wanting to keep James Daly on the floor. You're going to have one serious mismatch with a speedy ball handler for the Warriors. But both times that's happened, Daly's funneled him into two charges. A strip by Cook. And when he's on the floor, Frazier attacks Daly. Shot blocked with the hand. The body contacts. Foul on James Daly. Weddington again with the defensive pressure. Nice strip by Cook. They're looking to push the pace. Frazier is right from the three-point line. Also can get in and do the dirty work down low. So Frazier at the free-throw line. 16th point of the game. And one more coming from the Builders Discount Center free throw line. Builders Discount. Don't just build, build tough. Lead back to 16. Thompson. Snell to Aweo. Baseline drive. The kick out, Odom, and a blocking foul. When Odom was going to be in a tough spot to deliver a pass from that angle. Abrams collects a second foul, and it will be a one and one now for Amari Odom. Odom, 12.6 rebounds, two steals, and six assists. He's filled up the stat sheet. He's got to take over for his team and a good job getting the ball and just going into the paint. I mean, if you're Swan Robinson, as Daly now does check out, as Powell comes back in, all you want to do is in the next, say, 90 seconds, try and get this inside single digits. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Odom airballed the free throw at the other end of the first half. Now he banks in a free throw at this end. And again, keep in mind, they're in an arena setting. They don't shoot in these kind of arenas, so it's very, very deep and sometimes tough to manage. That's better. It is. Down to 14. Low leads for Cook, runs it down, and he'll fall away from the foul line and swirl in. Well, AJ Cook is now 6 of 7 overall. 17 points. 
Oh no, quick three. Short. You don't mind the shot, you gotta get him up at this stage of the game, down by 16. Martin, low. And now they play a keep away. Cook knocks down the pass. Frazier. Ball knocked loose. Contact. Steal. Panther creep the other way. Robinson into the lane. Tough shot. Oh, how did that go? He threw it up there expecting a whistle and two free throws. Somehow that went down. Down to 14. Oh, and it's really getting physical now. Foul on the backcourt charge against Jesse Powell. There was a lot of contact further up the floor. Behind the play. 326 left. Panther Creek going to throw everything they have left at the Warriors. Time to run it out. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, we resolve to have your back and be your trusted partner in health so you have the confidence to make caring for your family easy. Visit BlueCrossNC.com to learn more about coverage that's right for you. There's something bigger than just me. I represent an entire facility. People appreciate you for what you do. Thank you. Shake your hand. I feel like I'm doing a service to the citizens of North Carolina. You know, you want to be the best officer you can be. RDC 28 and Sinclair Broadcast Group want to help the next generation of storytellers. If you're pursuing a career in journalism or marketing, scan the QR code on your screen to apply for the Sinclair Broadcast Group Diversity Scholarship. The deadline is April 30th. Visit sbgi.net slash scholarship. This is a filet fish sandwich. These are Arby's two for six crispy and spicy fish sandwiches. So, see you soon then. Arby's, we have the meat. moments of a long day of championship basketball in Chapel Hill inside the Dean Dome Weddington looking to make it back-to-back -back state titles at two different levels of classification by the way it'd be their 49th win in a row 64 50 Weddington leading Panther Creek and now for the West Shore home player of the game and for Weddington AJ Cook five for five from three-point range six of seven overall and he's had an enormous night, Jay. 17 points, and he's just changed the momentum of the game, taking advantage of the ball movement. And he's been unconscious. He's so much fun to watch. And look at the arc on the ball. He knows it's going in as soon as it leaves his hands. All right, a couple of notes. First off, about Cook. He's now tied for fifth all time in making three-pointers in a game. He's made five. The record is seven, shared by Sean Alexander of T.C. Robertson and Josh Pittman of Trinity. And then two others have six. Cook has five. We'll see if he gets another opportunity here. Morton in the lane. Pass to the baseline, and here is Cook as we reach three minutes. Cook dribble knocked away and tied up by Jordan Snell. Arrow the other way. And now the officials come in. And two officials, maybe opposing calls. It almost looked like one official had called a timeout by the team. Another one called a jump ball. And I think the call is Weddington had possession and called a timeout by one official. One thought it was a jump, but the timeout and possession to Weddington will stand here. And Shawan Robinson saying they never had the ball. So they couldn't call a timeout. So Weddington will keep it. It's a huge break for the Warriors. And by the way, updating their team stats, 62.2% from the floor. That is now tied for second all-time in a state title game. 64.3 is the greatest shooting experience all-time in a state title game. North Surrey back in 1989. 3-0-1 to play. said it forced a tie-up. It would have been Panther Creek's ball with possession. So Morton will throw in. Low protecting the basketball. 
drives around Powell, who reached around the back and commits the foul. Two fifty-five left. Sixteen foul on Panther Creek, so now I'm shooting one more time. Boom. Gets it into Frazier. Chased. Cook whips it high. Oh, what a leaping grab by Morton. And a foul there on Panther Creek. Away, and that reaction after he committed the foul did not go over too well with the officials. He was this close to getting teed up. And that's number two on Away. So now it's Kyle Frazier to the free throw line. Weddington has a team 9 of 11. Back in the Builders Discount Center free throw line. Don't just build, build tough. Frazier doesn't draw a lot of iron on these free throws, does he? <laughs> I mean, everything is flushed through the net. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a shock if you even hear, yeah. any, hear anything. They just have so many pure shooters. All net again for Frazier. 19 points in the game. Weddington 66, Panther Creek 50. Odom leaves it for Snell. A bit off balance, long with the three. Morton high for the rebound. And we're nearing two and a half to go. Frazier gets it to Cook, and he gets fouled. And we go on Tyler Thompson. Now Panther Creek got as close as 12 in the second half. Trailed by 11 at the break. Down by 21 after three. Made a run, made a few shots. But Weddington almost every time has had the reply. Cook misses the free throw. Catamounts will bring it up. Ueo to the hole. Tough shot. Nice back shot by Chris Ueo. 66-52, 2.14 to go. And a little nudge there by Thompson. Shawan Robinson less than thrilled by that call as well. And Thompson is fouling. Thompson just hustling to try to get the turnover. And you see Reed Lips right there. He didn't touch him. It didn't look like he did. Minimal contact. So Tyler Thompson has now fouled out of the game for Panther Creek. And the official now looking at Thompson, I guess he was squatting in the corner off his bench, but he was still on the court. And the official told him he needed to take a seat. So Thompson is done. Frazier books another. 67-52, Weddington. Shooting in to the friendly end zone. Frazier, 6-of-6 six six in this quarter from the line. He's made all eight tonight. Uweo off the curl, gets knocked down. It'll be a three-shot foul. And Chase Lowe shakes it off. But the official said, no, no, it wasn't my foul. My response would be, does anybody ever really truly think that they foul? Right. Well, we'll see. Was there contact here? A little bit. A little contact on the left hand. So you lay it. We'll shoot three. Two more from the Builders Discount Center free throw line. Don't just build. Build tough. 68-52, Weddington. Well, Panther Creek had to go on the road and knock off the two-seed New Hanover, the seven-seed Apex Friendship. They then beat Millbrook on the road, and they took down number five Cleveland on a, at a neutral site. Not a lot of people thought Panther Creek would get out of maybe the third round, let alone play for a state title. But here they are, wrapping up a year that this program has never seen. Blocking foul on the inside. And Jesse Powell 
will head to the free throw line. So many young players coming back for Panther Creek next year. As Odom gets in, drives and dishes over to Powell. Yeah, they lose Snell. They lose Daly, those two starters. They do lose Jesse Powell, who's come off the bench tonight. Misses that free throw. Rebound to the Warriors. Inside two minutes. 15-point lead for Weddington. This has not been a single-digit game since the second quarter. Here's Cook, the pull-up. Left the two-drop short, and then commits the foul. And that might cost Weddington a shot in the all-time best shooting mark ever. And who missed the shot to cost him? A guy who's missed all night, J.J. Cook. Uh, these numbers are amazing. 61% from the field, the better from the three-point line. I mean, he could almost sell this as a pass, right? Only if he had a That's team in the rim. That's yeah. alley -oop. So 60.5 is where Weddington sits. And free throws now for Mario Odom. 14 points tonight for Odom. Leading the Catamounts. Knocked off the defending 4A champ Millbrook Wildcats in the Elite a couple of rounds ago. One and two. And now Daly will play out his high school career back on the floor for the Catamounts. 68-54, Warriors lead. Quick foul. Get used to it. And the problem for Panther Creek is 81% from the free throw line for Weddington. So they, yeah, you just look at this team, they're so solid, no weaknesses. And when you shoot the ball at the level they do, I mean, it's, it's so tough because they play really good defense and they execute on the offensive side. So Chase Lowe rims that one off. This will be an emotional wrap-up for the Weddington Warriors because, again, it's not as though this team came together a couple of years ago and learned how to play with one another. And for these outgoing seniors, six of them on this team and the juniors on this team, these guys have been playing basketball together in the Matthews, North Carolina area you know, for about 10 or 11 years. And to wrap up their high school careers with back-to-back -back state titles, but then you'll have the gravity of knowing that this is the last time that the entire group will be together. It can be overwhelming and emotional. And they've had so many positive memories, and, and their motto has been work, believe, trust. And they feel like they can accomplish anything, and to this point, they have. Yeah. And here is one of those seniors who barely plays, Jack Word at number 25, that was on the floor for the Warriors. There he is. And Gary Ellington talks so highly of Jack Ward. He said he has the highest GPA in the state. Turnover by Panther Creek. Morton gets stripped. And Lowe runs it down to the hole. Hangs and Daly swaps that one out. But we get a foul before the block shot. Back to Ward and talks about his charity work and what he does to help out the community, raise money and notebooks to give the schools. Just an all-around great kid, and he received the sportsmanship award now at the beginning of the game. And great to see Shawan Robinson getting Ryan James, number 10, on the floor for Panther Creek. He is one of the seniors. Again, rarely plays, but here he is in the Dean Smith Center for the last minute and a half of a state title game. Savoring this experience. And a win or a lose, that's going to be a great story for him to tell, right? For sure. I mean, this is a special opportunity for all the players. In the lane, that one will go. And a timeout call. 109 left, lands it by 15. Well, let's get to our Talk It Out NC play of the game. Brought to you by Talk It Out North Carolina. Start the conversation. Stop underage drinking. Chase Lowe, the defensive end, creating havoc. Defense turns it into offense. And as he finishes, Signals to the crowd, one more. This is my game. Now there's a look at the Weddington huddle. 21 points for Frazier, 17 for Cook, 18 for Lowe. And 
in what could be their final huddle around Gary Ellington as a unit. A tight knit group. Yeah. And you can tell how special this community is, the fan support, everybody yeah. together with one goal. And it's been a fun group to watch tonight and throughout the season. Yeah, I mean, Gary just said earlier in the week, I mean, he absolutely adores this team. Not just because they're great basketball players, but because of their character, because of their background, they all love one another. And this is why you coach, right? You want to win games, but you want to make an impression on their future. And Gary Ellingson, his staff, and all these players, man, well, what an exit for these seniors. And what Weddington basketball has now become. Close to a minute left. And Chase Lowe. And who knows where he will play next? A blocking foul called against Odom. And Lowe is a supremely talented human and basketball player. The question is, where will he play? And frankly, why has he not gotten you know, any strong offers yet for the game that he's put together the last couple of years here for Weddington? So that's kind of been the battle cry. They're trying to almost promote him to get coaches to see this kid from Matthews, North Carolina. He deserves it. He had an offer from Cornell this week, Army, Navy, Bentley College in Massachusetts. But I think teams need to yeah. keep an eye on him and offer him because he is a talented player, great person. He does it in all facets of the game. And, you know, for some of these players, as we get a timeout called, COVID threw a monkey wrench into college coaches recruiting of basketball players in a lot of ways. I mean, they couldn't visit. They couldn't watch these kids play in the summertime. Some now, now they're kind of evaluating through a video, and they're just now getting back into the regular recruiting mode of getting on the road and seeing these guys, meeting the families, developing those relationships. Uh, that stopped for a good couple of years. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why. I think there's going to be late offers coming in for the talented players on each team. And a lot of attention from this game. Coaches yeah. are going to be able to see the, the players. But how about this? The Weddington team as Chase Lowe gets subbed off the floor. Now the emotions, the smiles, the tears begin to flow. A huge salute to the Weddington fans behind them and in the end zone. And that's what this timeout was all about. To give the one final bow to Chase Lowe, to A.J. Cook, to Kyle Fraser. To Grady Brosterhaus, to Jack Orton, and to Bill Abrams. The six outgoing seniors who will tell everyone that they won their last 49 high school basketball games in a row and have two state championship rings to show for it. There's a bond that they'll have forever and a special group for what they've accomplished has been outstanding. Greg Ellinger on the floor for Panther Creek. Going out of there by the Catamounts. And he followed 40 seconds left. You know, over Panther Creek, Shawan Robinson, what he's been able to do with his group this year. I mean, they've been so much fun to watch. A lot of talent. Him and his father, Daryl Robinson, the relationship they have. And his two daughters have gone to every game. Cassie and Callie, 11 and 5 years old. So, family. There's Daryl Robinson, my father, longtime coach, 34 years, high school and college, Coach Shawan in high school. So this is a tight knit family, and they love basketball. 73 58 Weddington. Sixty 60.5% shooting. If they don't take another shot, that will be the fourth best shooting game ever in a state title contest. They dumped to the inside, kick to the corner. Here's a three on the way, and it's Grant Hamilton. And now with the final six seconds ticking off, Weddington on its way to a second state title in a row. Last year, 3A. This year, they run the table in 4A. 
and win their 49th game in a row. And they do so with the third best shooting night in state championship history. 62% from the floor, 10 out of 15 from deep. And the Weddington Warriors are 4A state champs. Last year, 3A at 18-0. This year, 4A, 31-0. The Weddington Warriors, two-time state champs. We'll come back and hear from Gary Ellington and celebrate with the Warriors when we return to Chapel Hill. With crispy bacon and fluffy eggs and melty cheese. Whoa. Beast Mode doesn't have to stop for breakfast. Give in to the new Bacon Beast breakfast menu at Hardee's and feed your happy. <laughs> oh, oh, this must be super embarrassing. Let me get that terrible driver I just got pulled over. Look. Wait, click. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Whether you're a driver or a passenger, you're required by law to buckle up or face a fine up to $161. Click it or ticket. Every seat, every time. West Shore Home is the easiest solution on the market for shower and bath remodeling. And today I'm joined by Kirsten to see why so many homeowners trust West Shore with their shower and bath project. So Joe, every year thousands of homeowners use us for their bath or shower remodel. We make it so easy and convenient. Check us out online. You're going to see thousands of reviews, customers raving about West Shore Home. Yeah, check them out. It's like one five-star review after another. It's really impressive. Now, I know a lot of people are getting ready to start their project now. Anything special you can do for them? So Joe, anyone who's looking to update their shower or bath should definitely give us a call. We're offering five years of 0% interest financing plus 50% off the cost of installation. Take a look at some of these jobs we've done recently. The work turns out amazing. Folks, you heard Kirsten. West Shore Home helps tens of thousands of homeowners every year. And give them a call now and take advantage of that great offer. It's five years of 0% interest financing plus 50% off the cost of installation. Call West Shore Home now. With crispy bacon and fluffy eggs and melty cheese. Whoa. Beast Mode doesn't have to stop for breakfast. Give in to the new Bacon Beast breakfast menu at Hardee's and feed your happy. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's time for some high school championship basketball, baby. I'm Nelson Weston, and who better to join us than our good friend all the way from Ingalls Markets, Melissa Level. Melissa, I'm you so excited to see you. I'm always <laughs> excited to see you as well. Now, you and I both know that Ingalls has had a long-standing partnership with the community in terms of academics and athletics for a long, long time now. Right. The question has to be asked, though, so, what inspires y'all to want to continue supporting the community? Well, you know, Ingalls is part of our communities. We're a big corporation, but our stores are individual beacons inside smaller com communities. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, this is a perfect way to do that. Mm -hmm. Supporting young athletes, supporting schools, that helps us build bigger, stronger communities. I like that. Now, speaking of community, you and I both know that in, this, in the community, Ingalls is also known for their delicious, mouth-watering, and tasty good food. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are some of your favorite dishes at Ingalls? You know, I love going to the Ingalls Deli. Everything is already made. I can get a great sub with boar's head beef or mm. pick up a nice hot meal, go to the park, go to the game. Mm. No mess, no fuss. Mm -hmm. That would hit the spot right about now. I'm starving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, y'all are also known for y'all's famous Tools for Schools program. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. on one hand, for those who are unfamiliar, what is Tools for Schools, but more importantly, how does the public get involved? Well, it's really simple to get involved. Okay. And I can get, you just have to register your Ingalls Advantage card. Okay. That's free. And then attach it to a school of your choice. And every time you shop and use that card, a percentage of your sales go 
to that school. Wow. It's wonderful. It allows teachers and administrators to get the things they need for their school without having to pay for it out of their own pocket. It allows our shoppers, our customers, to be able to benefit the community just by shopping at Ingles. Now, just to follow up with that, how long has this program been around? And furthermore, how much in terms of donations have been made since its inception? It's been around 17 years, and we're close to $23 million in donations. Close to $23 million. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is outstanding work. Melissa, you Yay. and Ingles jockey about the magnificent work. Well, thank you. Folks, mm -hmm. it's time for some high school championship basketball. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. There's your final. Weddington over Panther Creek, 76-58. The new 4A state men's basketball champs. And let's head to the uh, Legacy Federal Credit Union stats board, Jay. And look at those numbers on that right column for Weddington. I mean, the shooting. I mean, they rarely miss Weddington. 62% from the field. 67% from beyond the three-point line. Only 11 turnovers. They dished the ball out. They always made the right decision on the offensive end. On the defensive end, though, they made Panther Creek uncomfortable. They played a complete ball game. Yeah, again, the shooting percentage, 61.5%, which is number three all-time in a state title game for these Weddington Warriors. And now one last time, let's take a look at the Hardy's points in the paint brought to you by Hardy's. Try their new bacon beast menu at Hardy's. Crispy bacon and a burger, biscuit, or breakfast burrito. Uh, Panther Creek did a better job in the second half getting the ball down low for Weddington. They did all their damage beyond the three-point line from the free throw line as well. 22 attempts, 18 makes. So the trophies, the medals being awarded. A.J. Cook, one of the outgoing seniors, did not miss from three-point territory. Five out of five of the three main seniors that played for Weddington. They combined for 57 of their 76 points. Frazier had 21, low 19, Cook with 17. And there is a look at Chase Lowe. It was seven of nine from the field, four steals. Head coach of the Warriors is Gary Ellington. And there is the man, the leader of the program. Gary Ellington, we will hear from him momentarily. Can't imagine the emotions that he's feeling. Yeah, the the long bus ride to kind of soak it in on the way back home. To his, 49 straight wins to the state, state championships. Championship trophy. And does it with kids who he's known for the better part of a decade. But for the nucleus of this Weddington team, it's now broken up, which makes it even sweeter for their successes. And a second banner heading out to Matthews, North Carolina. There it is. 31 and 0. A number of outstanding individual performances in this state championship game. And of those 31 wins, given only on seven games have been by single digits. Game. Four of those the in the playoffs. For the and again, I'd be curious to hear Gary's thoughts about those two last-minute comebacks Oda, in the regional semifinals and the regional finals, rebounds, beating Chambers 66. when they trailed by five with 58 seconds left. Then in the regional final game, they were down six with 59 seconds left. Each of those games were at home. Bucket, turnover, bucket, turnover. I mean, they played flawlessly the down the stretch of those two games. And frankly, they played pretty much flawlessly for 32 minutes here in Chapel Hill. Yeah, I mean, you just don't see any weaknesses. And then when you have the chemistry, the fight in a group, that's as special as they have. I mean... That's how you string together 49 victories. Some of those are blowouts, some were close, some from behind. One player they found a way each time. The and there's the most outstanding player, Kyle player. Frazier. Now the game's MVP. Will it be low or will it be Cook? The Charlie Adams most valuable player of this championship game is number two, Chase Lowe. And it's Chase Lowe. 19 points, seven rebounds, and four steals. Is he a future politician? Well, Gary Ellington would not put any ceiling on this young man's future. The basketball, the next step. An SAT score 1350. This is the all around perfect kid. Congratulations to him and all of his teammates as the Weddington Warriors win their second straight state title.
and that banner and this picture will hang forever at Weddington High School. A special group, and you see the smiles. This is a memory they'll remember forever, yeah. and a bond, and 49 in a row. Yeah. And wherever life takes them after this moment, they'll be connected by this. And you know as well as I do, the, the close high school friendships that we had, you think will last forever. They don't always do, but you kind of get the hunch that with this special group from Weddington High School, it's a good chance of lasting. And Jason Halter getting in position now to talk with Gary Ellington. 49 straight wins, a second straight state title this time up in class to 4A and Jay is now with the championship head coach Gary Ellington. Coach first question 67 percent from beyond the three point line. 62 percent from the field so even better from long range. How are you guys so effective shooting the ball. Uh, one we spend a lot of time on it. Uh, we work on it every single day in practice. Uh, first 20 30 minutes of practice every single day is fundamentals working on shooting and then we practice hard for about an hour hour and a half and then we finish practice with shooting so um, you know when they when they step on the floor they're confident shooters and you guys in the playoffs you had come from behind victories 49 in a row and some of them blow out some haven't been easy what's the key the toughness that you guys have to get you to this point and play flawlessly tonight. It's the amount of work that we put in in the offseason and in the, and during the season. Um, the, these guys go uh, 10 months out of the year, and they're in the weight room four days a week. And, and the amount of work that they put in heading into a season gives them a certain level of confidence um, that anything is possible, and they can do it because they've already put the work into it. And I told him before the game, I said, look, whatever you're feeling inside, it's not nervousness. It, it's just a heightened sense of readiness because nervousness Nervousness is for people who are unprepared. You are prepared. You've worked hard for this, so don't be nervous. And you have such a special senior group, and you've known these guys since elementary school. Tonight, 53 of the 76 points were from seniors. How special is this group? I can't I, I can't really put it in words to be honest with you uh, just a little emotional about it I've been around them for a long time um, I, I love every single one of them uh, for them to be able to go out like this is a, is a dream come true I mean kids dream about doing stuff like this and doing it on a floor that they grow up watching on television uh, for them to be able to do what they what they've done you know they're all four years but especially these last two seasons I, I'm so happy for them and um, I, I guess I'm going to have to wake up tomorrow and, and figure out what I'm going to do without them. <laughs> well, the streak at 49, you have an opportunity next season yeah. to get to this point. But to look for number 50, I know it's been a special night for you. Congratulations on a great victory, 49 in a row. It all started with you, their leader. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, just got a great school, great community. Uh, er everybody is so supportive. And, um, you know, the, the, the kids that we have and the parents that we have, you saw the student section. For them to show up like this and support us, they've done that all year long. I'm just so happy for everybody. Well, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you next year. All right, thank you. Yeah, all right, Jay, with head coach Gary Ellington, now two-time defending state champs last year at 3A, this year at 4A. This will be an emotional locker room for the Warriors saying goodbye to the linchpins that brought them here, but the legacy set. 76-58 Weddington over Panther Creek, the 4A state title. Well, all of us like to take a minute to thank all of the great sponsors that we have. West Shore Home, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, Talk It Out NC, Hardee's, Builders Discount, the North Carolina Department of Public Safety, a legacy credit union and Ingalls Markets. All of these partners, all of them, through their contributions to the program, make these championship game broadcasts possible for you. Well, a long day of championship basketball comes to a close from the Dean Dome in Chapel Hill. Weddington comes in and runs through Panther Creek to claim a 4A title in record-setting four. Your final score again, Weddington 76, Panther Creek 58. On behalf of Jay Stonehalter and our entire crew, thank you for making a date with us all day and all night as we say good night from Chapel Hill. Congratulations to the 4A champion, Weddington Warriors.